You need to what day? I'll show you. This is the official costume from Leg Avenue. And as you can see, it actually fits pretty nicely. This was originally released back in, let's adjust the camera, 2011. And you can see just how much detail they put in. Let me show you the, the collar first. The collar attaches via Velcro. It's not very tight, which is excellent if you have any issues with, you know, that choking feeling that you usually get from a choker. And again, embroidered moon. It's on a little piece of faux silk. The whole costume is polyester, so if you have polyester allergies, do be aware of that. The tiara, well, it is a headband. It's not much to write home about, but it is shiny. You can adjust the tiara by taking a gold Sharpie marker and just drawing the lines on the usually appear on the television show and in the manga. As for the bow, it's shiny faux silk, again polyester. The brooch is patched on. This is an embroidered brooch. They messed up on the gem for Venus. It's brown where it should be orange. But other than that, it's actually pretty well detailed. A little flat, but it is a patch after all. They even remembered the shoulder ribbing. I just absolutely love that about the costume. I've seen other costumes that forget this very important detail, but the shoulder guards are here. The gloves are one size fits all, and they're a little on the short side, so if you want to cosplay as Chibi Chibi, well, you'd be one gold band short, but it's not too bad. You can sort of stretch the gloves a little. Let me show you. Like, they go a little far. Oh, the opening? That's not actually the seam breaking. Since this is all attached by Velcro, they left an opening in the glove so that you can adjust it to your own arm size. Again, it's not as long as the TV show, but hey, you know, it's not that bad. <laughs> and of course, I know you see a lot of comments on Amazon about the back. So here we are. As you can see, we have the red bow. Kind of fits a little loose, but you know, not too bad for a Halloween costume. Now, one other thing you've heard a lot about are the hair clips, and I'm going to have to show you that separate. Each costume piece comes in its own little baggie. These are the hair clips, and as you can see, they're not the white that they're supposed to be. These are embroidered patches with a loosely sewn on red gem and basic hair clips in the back, but the good part about this is with just a little bit of white leather, you can replace these patches with a proper white material and then just sew the gem and the hair clip back on because they're not stitched that well to begin with. Also, these clips are perfect if you have any type of Sailor Moon wig or if you're going to alter this for Sailor Chibi Moon. You can just slip these right on. It is the easiest clip you'll ever work with and they do hold pretty well. Lastly, this is the package that you should be seeing your costume in. If you didn't get this package on Amazon, you probably didn't get the real thing. But this is the uh, cardboard slip everybody at Hot Topic is used to seeing. Now for the washing, because this isn't really talked about too much. you got to hand wash this costume, cold water. What I like to do is I take a little bit of the uh, all uh, free and clear detergent. I put a little on the costume and I just take the material and I just go like that with it. So that's all you really have to do. You want to let it drip dry cold. Do not let this thing touch a washer or a dryer or it will be destroyed. So just thought I'd point that out there that this is a delicate costume. But with enough care, this should last you several cosplays and quite a few Halloweens. Oh, lastly, some folks are wondering how do you get into this costume? A zipper. All you gotta do is put is unzip the zipper. Put the costume over your head, fit your arms through, and then zip up the side. It is the easiest thing in the world. And the best bonus thing, and this goes out to a lot of people out there who want to do, like, pregnancy cosplay, because that is a, a beautiful theme these days. In case you're curious, this is stretchy. So, let's say you have, like, a little bun in the oven. I don't. But in case you do... You can just stretch that down. It stretches with you. This is the large size costume. And I'm about, my doctor says I'm five foot six now. So 
For someone who's 5'6 and very curvy, this costume fits like a dream, and it stretches in all the right places. If you are expecting, I would go with an XL or a 1X, potentially 2X if, you, if we've got, you know, a, a twins coming along. But that's the great thing about Leg Avenue is that they've made this costume for virtually every size of female and male. We're progressive. So if you're looking for an easy to fit together costume or just something to get you started as you're learning how to make your own costumes, this is a good starter costume. It gives you some, a base to work with. I'm going to be tailoring my own boots and I'm going to be fixing up the tiara and the head gems, of course, and I've already ordered a wig. And it's great, you know, it's very versatile, it's stretchy where it needs to be, and it does the job effectively.